Hey everyone, hope you guys are enjoying Monster Hunter Rise or Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak in whichever platform you're choosing to play it on. And today we're going to be going over pretty much the final Monster Hunter Frontiers surprise drop armor set that is making its way to Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak as part of the fourth free title update. Capcom went ahead and dropped the second to final set of event quests. This week we just got one. In the past recent weeks we've been getting a lot of double event quests. Next week we expect to get two more event quests. One of them is going to be one that I'm really looking forward to. Of course, a brand new hazard event. But for now, what we have here is just one brand new event quest with an amazing set of rewards that I know you guys are certainly going to enjoy. If you still, for whatever reason, don't know how to get your hands on any sort of event quest or downloadable item packs, all you need to do is make your way down to Elgato or the Steelworks, speak to the Courier Cat, go all the way down to the add-ons options, and claim anything that's labeled in white, whether it is downloadable item packs, free event quests, or anything along those lines. One of those will be the food fight event quest. This is the hunting type event quest with an invader monster, which can be an elder dragon based on something that we saw on, on the, how many times I had to do the quest myself. And you are gonna be fighting a Magnamalo and a Rajang at the Lava Caverns. Now, uh, both monsters are gonna be, of course, in typical fashion roaming about and really depending on your random leader or whoever decides to attack whichever monster first, chances are uh, they are going to be going over after Rajang. Usually it's closer to the spawn area if people are not willing to teleport to the second spawn point. However, I will encourage you guys to probably mount one of the monsters, make your way to the other one, get that extra double KO, slap the other one around a little bit, mount the other one, and of course do the reverse certainly helps out and to quicken up this quest because you will be doing this quest probably um, anywhere from three to five times really depending on the rng now as far as the monsters are concerned magnamalo uh, this is just a normal one same with rajang no hidden parameters no higher resistances no higher defense no higher attack no higher health these are just two normal monsters there is a chance for crowns but i believe is a low percentage about 15 percent based on what I saw. So you shouldn't be doing this quest for crowns if that is one of the things that you need for either one of these monsters. But at the end of the day, like I said, once you take them down, it shouldn't be that much of a problem. With that said, keep your eyes peeled for the event uh, quest rewards, uh, the bonus quest rewards tab. This is the last, the, the third tab in the last page before you, of course, uh, get thrown back into um, the city. And, and there you should be able to see a gray book that's rarity 10 that says um, uh, noble foreign drawings the paper is scribbled with some obscure drawings in a foreign words the only single word that is legible is lenigan and yes indeed we will finally be able to get the lenigan armor set this i believe was a 11.3 uh, frontiers armor set uh, version 11.3 um, when it was introduced so it was uh, in the latter half uh, of frontiers and it was one of those armor sets that certainly got a lot of people happy because it is a popular armor set based on looks a lot of people certainly enjoyed it back in the day now of course in typical fashion you will be needing five of these noble foreign drawings so essentially what you're going to need to do is do the quest anywhere from two through five times. Two, if you get two and three or three and three uh, on a drop, you can get three based on what we saw. Uh, but chances are you're just going to get two or ones. So you're going to have to do it a couple more times than expected. I had to do it three separate times. I got two, two and two, I believe each and every single time. But that was just my experience. Now, once you're done with that, you need to make your way, of course, back to town and check out the smithy you're going to be able to check the forge upgrade armor option and forge layered option tab to the right and check out the special tab and there you should be able to see that uh, i believe is a rarity nine armor layered armor option which of course is the lenigan armor set the purple set now it will require you some of course the noble foreign drawings but of course either magnum Malo materials or rajang materials i believe you need five or six points depending upon the piece of armor uh, so you're going to be needing those and uh, once you finish crafting it because of course it's just a layered armor option uh, you don't have any actual stats or anything like that 
uh, you are gonna have a brand new made Lenigan armor set. Now, of course, you can certainly um, mess with the colors a little bit, make it look a little bit better. I actually liked the fault uh, that I ended up getting myself. Maybe I'll end up trying to change it to full white, uh, but of course, they're red and uh, orange. I get a cream color, I guess you could call it. Uh, monikers there are kind of like remaining, but a lot of the colors for the armor itself, you're gonna be able to change around. So, um, you know, you should be able to twist that around. But at the end of the day, this ultimately makes it the last armor set or layered armor option that we're getting for the th fourth free title update. Now, of course, we have the fifth free title update digital presentation happening next Wednesday. That will be, of course, the 19th of April, 7 a.m. Pacific time, 10 a.m. East Coast time, 3 p.m. British Standard Time. And this presentation is pretty much going to, of course, showcase uh, a lot of things regarding the fifth free title update, which one of them I will be talking about tomorrow regarding a brand new armor set that is being teased already by Capcom regarding that presentation. And I guess one of the things that I do want to quickly touch upon is the fact that uh, maybe there is a lot of rumblings right now that maybe regarding the fifth free title update where we usually have had for the third and fourth free title updates, I believe five out of the six armor sets were all from Frontiers. Uh, it seems to be like maybe for the fifth free title update that is going to be changing and they are going to be either giving us uh, brand new armor sets that are not available in the game before, have not been available in any uh, version of the game before they are truly end game or just layered options. We don't quite know. Uh, there's a lot of rumors regarding that right now or stuff from other games. Armor sets that have been available in previous games, not specifically tied to Frontiers. I believe Frontiers by now has had the most amount of uh, layer armor options as part of the event quest, but going forward at the very least for the next free title update and the final one that we expect it to be, um, there will be a chance that uh, some new options will be appearing. Maybe collaboration armor sets, maybe EX versions of original armor sets, something along those lines. That is an interesting discussion topic that I've seen foster up pretty much within the last 24 hours since the digital presentation came live. And at the end of the day, I am all for it. I'm, I'm, while I'm enjoying the fact that we keep getting Frontiers armors, because once again, they were extremely unique just to that game and they were usually tied to events within that game. They were not available anywhere else. It would be nice for them to actually go the extra mile and give us something that we haven't seen before. So it would be extremely unique and first time ever for Rise and Sunbreak. But of course, on top of that, something EX related armor sets. I think those were pretty awesome armor sets in previous titles. But that's about all the information that I have for you guys today. If you're brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.